Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2018 Toyota Highlander Limited. Now the most notable features on this Limited is its panoramic roof. You have your 360 degree backup camera along with your heated and cooled front seats. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2018 Toyota Highlander Limited. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Limited is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then if you take a closer look at the front grill, you'll see your front facing camera with your parking sensors. Over on the side you do have the 19 inch aluminum alloy wheels along with your body side moldings, down facing camera on both sets of mirrors for the 360 degree backup camera, integrated signal lamps as well as your blind spot monitoring. And then you also have the smart key system as well. So as long as you have the key fob on you at all times, you can lock the door. Just by pushing on the two little lines you see there on the handle once. And then if you put your hand between the handle, it'll unlock the front door for you as well. This is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is blue. Now taking a closer look just at the front dash as well as the front seats, you do have your black interior. Power driver's seat with lumbar support. Automatic high beams, auto stop and start, view for the 360 degree backup camera, power lift gate release, window wiper de-icer, heat steering wheel, parking sensors, seat memory controls, mirror controls, window locks, power locks, and window controls. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your volume control, seat function mode select, as well as your voice recognition and Bluetooth connectivity. Lane departure alert, cruise control, and then you do have the push button start. So all you have to do is push one on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Taking a look at the multi informational display, you'll see a couple of different features on here, which include your fuel range, eco indicator, all wheel drive, and sway warning. You can go through your fuel economy, compass, audio, as well as your lane departure alert, auto stop and start, messages, and settings menu with the lane departure alert, pre collision system, blind spawn ring on and off as well as a couple of other additional features inside here as well. Taking a look at the center dash area, as you can see you have a digital clock and then if you go inside the apps menu, you have your navigation, audio phone, as well as a couple of other additional features. Premium JBL sound system, Sirius XM satellite radio with the dual zone climate control settings with the rear temperature controls located on the right hand side. Down below you'll find your USB and auxiliary input with the power outlet, traction control on and off, snow mode, downhill assist control, and all-wheel drive lock. Mounted to an automatic transmission with your heated and cooled front seat controls for your driver and passenger. And then if you take a look up top you have the auto dimming rear view mirror with the open and close for the panoramic roof, sunglass case holder, integrated garage door opener controls, and taking a look at the backup camera as you can see. You have those nice guiding lines in there making things much easier for you when you back into a stall and you can also adjust the backup camera view depending on what your needs are for. Now when I have the vehicle in park and I hit that view button over on my driver's side, as you can see it shows you a nice aerial view and a more up close 360 degree backup camera view. The nice thing is that you can actually pause the menu just if you see the obstruction and then if you push on the view button once more, it'll go back to the previous screen you were on. Now when you're in drive and you hit that view button, it'll show you a nice front end view of the vehicle, which makes things a little bit easier for you, especially with underground parking. And as you can see, I pushed on the auto feature for the front camera there. So anything under 10 kilometers an hour will actually stay on that screen. Anything above that will go back to the previous screen you were on. Finally, we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate. Now located just on the back of the tailgate, you'll find your backup camera just on your left hand side and the rear hatch release located right beside it. Push on the button once and it will open up for you automatically. Closing in on the rear cargo space as you can see, second row captain seats but they're also heated as well. Third row you have 60-40 splits so depending on if you need additional passengers or additional cargo space it is available to you and as you can see you do have the cargo liner with it so with the cargo liner if you spill any liquids on here it makes things easier to clean up afterwards because just because you can have it removed and clean up properly afterwards underneath the floor you're going to find some of the floor storage space as well as your jack and tool kit and you'll gain access to your spare tire which is located underneath your rear bumper 
The other nice thing is that you do have a power adjustable tailgate, so if you hold down the button for approximately two seconds, the height you'd like it at, it'll beep a couple of times, and when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the height you set it at. Now, if you want to reset the height for yourself, hold down the button for more than four seconds, it'll beep several times. Then when you close it and open it again, it'll open up to the maximum height. A couple of uses for that power tailgate is if you're a little bit shorter or if your garage is a little bit lower, you can prevent the back of your tailgate from being damaged. Thank you so much, folks, for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Phone number is 780-410-2455, or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.